Well, hi, uh, this is Jamie Ruby from Sci-Fi Vision. It's nice to, to speak with you again. We spoke last season, the sort of in the middle of the season, I guess. Thanks for having me. Sure. And um, so to start out, obviously in the first episode, the pawn does not bring her to the same place as her mother, but it's not done with her yet. And they kind of talk about it almost like it's sentient and it, you know, makes decisions and everything. Why do you think that it separated them? And if you can't tell me that, why do you think Alice would think that? Like, she just sort of talk about that. Yeah, I think, you know, there's this saying that the pond will take you where you need to go uh, in our show, and it's something that Elliot reminds Alice of, and he reminds Kat of the same thing. And so I think when something like that happens, the characters definitely are looking for a reason, especially when it, you end up somewhere where, like, you were not hoping to be. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, my my mom has said, okay, fine, we'll go back in the pond just this once, and I'm hoping to just, you know, be able to get right in there and help her with her journey, and the pond sends me somewhere where I've been told I never go again. So part of me is happy that I, my mom was wrong. I do, I do get to see the people from the past again, uh, and then part of her is, um, you know, I, I feel really wronged by the pond, you know, I would say 75% of the time you end up somewhere where, you know, this is, this is exactly what you hoped would happen, and now you just need to figure out, you know, how you can intervene and what you can do and what is your part to play in this moment, and you need to find out why the pawn brought you there. Um, but in this scenario, not only have I been told I was never coming back here, but I also, this, isn't, this is not what I was hoping for. I need my mom, and I need to help my mom, and my mom needs me. I'm thinking she can't do this alone. It's it's too big of a task. And so um, I think Alice definitely has has questions, but there there is that saying of the, the pond takes you where you need to go. So you can't really fight with the pond as much as you might like to. <laughs> do you think throughout the season, is it going to draw them apart at all? Because obviously them going together did really bring them together. I mean, are they going to kind of stay on the same page or... You know, because we don't know how much her mother is going to tell her about what happens or how much she's going to tell her mother. Can that drive a wedge between them again, do you think? Or is it, are they already past that? I think what gets really interesting this season is that we, um, you know, we see the betrayal that, you know, when Alice finds out that Kat's been time traveling, um, she's so hurt that her mom has been t traveling and not telling her and, you know, observing her travels and pretending like everything is normal. Um, and 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 kind of, I guess, denying that they had a relationship as friends in the past. And so that really hurts Alice. And then it makes them closer because they start traveling together, like you said. Um, and there's a part of it with season two that, um, you know, Kat told Alice that she would never go back. She would never see her friends from the past anymore. So when things start falling apart and that theory starts seeming untrue to Alice, there is, you know, there's kind of this hurt of like, why would my mom lie to me? And why would Elliot lie to me? And why isn't anyone telling me the truth? And I think for Alice, she knows that, you know, as as much as you might try, you, you can't, what happens will always happen. Mm -hmm. And so there's this feeling of, you know, if my mom said I was never there, but I do go back, then where do these things how are both of these things true at the same time? And so she has to keep, um, she has to keep going after that answer in in a way. And um, on the other hand, you know, they're on different journeys because Alice is kind of trying to figure out why everyone's lying to her about what really happened and in the past, in the uh, you know early two thousands. Mm -hmm. And then we have Cat who has a has a really strong hunch about what happened to Jacob and where he is and how can she both support her mom and also um what does it mean to maybe feel a little bit left behind and you know that was kind of her quest and now it's it's something that's um you know is something that Kat might have to do on her own and so how can she be there for her mom and not feel like left behind by that Makes sense. Now, I wanted to actually ask you about the actual traveling on your side as an actress. I, I assume it's probably uncomfortable being wet all the time, for one. Um, but are you actually, is it a pond? Is it a tank? Like, how does that, when you're actually jumping into it, or 
you know, or is it maybe it's a double, maybe you aren't really jumping into it. I don't know. How does that, how does that work? It takes, um, you know, it takes a lot of different departments to make that all come together. We do actually film, um, on location at a pond, um, a real pond. It's very beautiful, and um, our lovely DP Tom Best makes it look so mystical and serene, and but also kind of threatening when when um, things start to go awry with the pond. Um, we have our amazing stunt team who, you know, there is kind of a relay aspect of those stunts because, like you said, um, you know, going in the pond means that's it. Now you can only film stuff where you're. <laughs> where you come from the pond you can't go back to dry just like that so you know there is kind of you kind of tag each other out with our stunt team sometimes and then we have um the underwater shots with our amazing water safety and camera team and that we actually film in a pool um and you know it's it's all um dressed to make it look like we're in a pond but the actual pond where we shoot is uh it would be nearly impossible to see anything underwater i do open my eyes under there and you can't see thing it's very murky it's full of creatures it's very you know um exactly what you'd imagine um but it i think you know with all those pieces together we get this very very cool um illusion of this magical pond that really becomes almost like another character in the show yeah, it definitely looks nice and clear and pretty, at least under you. <laughs> um, so, so quickly, you Alice has more time with Dell this season because of the fact that she's sort of not with her mother as much. Can you sort of talk about that and working with Andy? Yeah, well, we at the end of um, last season, we see Alice really starting to depend on Dell in kind of a more. Um, they're starting to get closer. There's, she's starting to open up to her. Dell is, I, I don't know, I was thinking of this really sweet scene at the end of episode, or no, season one, where they have a little movie night, and Alice finally tells Dell, like, I'm having a really hard time settling in here, and I don't know what to do, and Dell kind of gives her advice and comforts her. And when we kick off season two, we see them in this new place. They've, they're, they're more of a family, they're more united. Um, Again, with the time travel, there's always this strain because you can't really tell the other person exactly what's going on, exactly where you've been or why you know something that you know. And um, it makes for it makes for interesting scenes for sure. Um, Andy and I have have a lot of fun, and I think Andy is a grandmother herself, and I have a lovely relationship with my grandmother, and so I think we both bring that kind of like love and you know, we cherish those relationships in our own lives. So I think when we have those scenes together, we know that they're like really precious to have, you know, a granddaughter and a grandmother on screen together having these moments. And so I think it's something I really look forward to. And um, yeah, every time I see it in the script, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see where they're going with that relationship. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that this season too. Well, thank you. Appreciate your time. And hopefully we'll talk again soon. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks. Have a good day.